Hey guys, welcome back. It's Rishi once again, and today we're going to be going through averages. So, what are averages? Well, the averages topic covers four main areas, and that is your mean, your mode, your median, and your range. So, now a set of numbers can be difficult to interpret, and it can be a challenge to gain an overview of what they show. So finding different averages of a set of data gives us a tool to describe the results. And the main averages, which can also be referred to as measures of central tendency, are the mean, mode, and median. So let's go through an example in a bit more detail. So Rishi is now preparing for his maths GCSE exam. So we have Rishi and he's preparing for his maths GCSE exam. And each paper is marked out of 100. And he attempts 10 tests. So 100 is the score. He attempts 10 tests. So let's go ahead and write down his score here. And now we can use these values to calculate the mean, the median and mode to find out more information about his scores. So let's take a look at the mean first. So now the mean uses all of the values in the data. And now to calculate the mean, all we need to simply do is number one, add up all of the numbers. And number two, to divide by how many values there are. So now we have our mean, which is adding all the numbers and then dividing by the number of values. So then again, if I go ahead and add all of the numbers and divide by 10, in total, we would have 680 divided by 10, which gives us 68. And that would be the mean. So that's again, adding all these numbers here, which I've already done to save time, which gives you 680 and then divided by 10, and that gives you 68. Wonderful. And now likewise, if we were to go ahead and work out the mode. So now the mode, again, is simply the most common value that appears in the data. So most common. And the mode is the only average where there can be more than one. And remember that more than one. So if there are two modes, we say that this is bimodal. So two modes is bimodal. If there are more than two modes, it's multimodal. So greater than two modes is mod multimodal. And if all the values appear, the same number of times, we can say there is no mode. So now it's often useful to use the ordered set of numbers. So that is where we put all of the numbers from the smallest to the largest, and then see which value occurs more than once. Well, we can simply go ahead and do this right away. And there we are. So I've now put all the numbers in order. So what I'm going to do now is see that 64 occurs three times and all the rest appear once. So our mode is going to be 64. And there we are. So we've now got our mean, our mode, and let's now focus on the median. So now when we have the median here, that is where we need to, again, put all the numbers in order from smallest to largest. And then we can go ahead and find out the middle number. So our middle value. So what I'll go ahead and do is simply write this out once more. And then I'm going to go ahead and cross out each number from the beginning and from the end until I reach the center. So again, we can cross out 42 and 86, then 63 and 80, 64 and 79, and 64 and 71. And again, we can now see that we're left with 64 and 67. So now in order to get the median of these two numbers, we need to simply add them up and then divide them by two. So again, that's 131 divided by two, which gives us 65.5. And there we are. So you can now see our median is 65.5. Perfect. So now we've gone through our mean, our mode, our median, and the final part is now our range. 
and the range is merely your largest takeaway, the smallest. So again, if we take a look here, let's go for largest takeaway smallest. All we need to simply do here is get our largest value, which was 86, and subtract 42, which is our smallest value, giving us 44. And that will now be the range for these set of numbers here. I hope this example was clear. Let's now go ahead and dive into a set of questions. And again, like we've done in our previous videos, feel free to go ahead and pause the video at any time, attempt the questions before pressing play and where I will then go through the solutions. Okay, so question number one, work out the range. So if we take a look again, we need to get the largest value and subtract the smallest value. So we have seven and two. So seven take away two gives us five, and that's going to be our range. Again, if we look at part B, find the mode. The mode is then your most common, and we can see here that four is our most common, and that's going to be our mode. And then our mean. Once again, we're adding all of the numbers here. So step one, add all numbers, and then divide by total number. So again, you can see here, if we add all of the numbers here, that gives us 48. And if we divide it by 10, because there are 10 numbers, we get 4.8. And that again is our answer, 4.8. So I hope that was clear. Let's now dive into question number two. Once again, we're looking at the range here. So we have 11 take away four, which gives us seven. And we can write that down. We then look at the median. So we can cross out 11 and four, 10 and six, and we're left with nine. So we can write that there. And then if we go for our mean here, let's go ahead and add all of the numbers together and then divide it by how many there are, which is five. So again, we have 40 divided by five, which gives us eight. And that is our answer. So again, quick and simple, one mark questions and a very clear understanding here. Okay, let's go for question number three. Once again, we're looking at the range here. So what do we have? We have 190 minus 151. And that again gives us 39. So we now know our range is 39 centimeters. And if we go ahead and find the mode, please remember that's your most common figure here. So again, we have the most common number out of these are then going to be 171 because it's occurring twice. So now we know that's our mode. And then finally, if we have our mean, we can go ahead and write out all of our numbers here, add them together, and then go ahead and divide them by how many there are. In this case, we know it's out of eight. So we add it together, divide it by eight. And that will now, if we calculate this with a calculator, it'll be 169.625. So 169.625, beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and start with question number four. So now again, let's go with our range. So the largest take away the smallest. So we have 150 and 105. So 150 take away 105 gives us 45. So again, we have our median weight here. So, so I'll go ahead and write out all of the numbers in the correct order. And then we'll get the middle value. So we can cross 105 and 150. We then cross 125 and 144. And we now need to get the median of these two values. So what do we do? We simply add them together and then divide it by two, which then gives us 131. And there we are, that's 131 grams. Amazing. Okay, question number five. So we now have six cards and we need to work out the range. So once again, we have 19 as our largest and seven as our smallest. So 19 take away seven gives us 12. So that's our one mark there. And then work out the mean of these numbers. And remember at any stage, you can pause the video, attempt the question and then press play because I will be going through all of the solutions. Okay, the mean of the numbers. So again, we're gonna add up all of these numbers here. So we have 19, seven, 11, eight, 15 and 15. And then we go ahead and divide this by six. So that's 75 in total divided by six. 
and that's 12.5. And there we are. Okay, question 6a. Work out the range. So again, we have 14 and 1, which gives us 13. And then we go for our mode, which is our most common. And we can see 11 occurs three times. So 11 is our mode. I hope you're now getting an understanding of the median, the mode, the range, and the mean. Okay, question number seven. So here are seven cards, and each card has a number on it. So let's work out the range, the median, and the mean. Okay, so we have 18 as our largest, and five as our smallest, and if we subtract it, we now get 13. And if we take a look at the median, let's go ahead and put it in ascending order here. And let's cross out each one from the left and the right until we're left with the middle. And that is 11, which is our mean. And then finally, which is then our median. And then finally, the mean, which again, where we add up all of these numbers together. And then we divide this by the number of numbers we have, which is in this case is seven. So we have 77 divided by seven, which is 11. So now we know our median and mean are the same value. Okay, let's go for question number eight. And now for eight, they're looking for the median. So again, let's go ahead and order these. And then let's cross out each one from the beginning to the end. And we're left with six and eight. We do know that seven is in between them, but just to be sure, let's go ahead and add them and then divide it by two. That's 14 divided by two, which gives us seven. And there we are. And part B. So we're now given six cards. And out of the six cards, there is a number on each card and two of them are hidden. So we know the mode is four and the mean of the six numbers is five. So work out the two numbers that are hidden here. So if the mode is four, we know that there must be at least one more four, right? To make it the most common. So let's go ahead and write that out. We have four, five, I'm gonna put another four here. And then let's put in a question mark. And let's actually give this a value and let's go for X here. So we know that the mean of the number is five. So let's do the inverse of this. So we'll have five multiplied by six numbers gives us 30. So we know the total value of these numbers are 30. So now if we work backwards here, let's add up all of these numbers that I have here. So we have nine, we then have 13, and then we have 19 plus three is 22. So now if I have 30 take away 22, that gives me eight. So now I know one of the numbers is four to make it the mode and the other number is eight. And that's your two-step method. You multiply out all of the numbers to get the total value before subtracting them to get the last remaining value. And that is eight. Okay, let's move over to number nine. Once again, we're back with our range here where we have 20 minus 11, which gives you nine. And then our mean, which is where you add up all of the numbers together and then subtract them by how many there are which in this case is seven. So if I add all of these up, I get 112 divided by seven, which gives me 16. And that is our answer there. However, Andrew says the median is the middle number. So the median is 20. Andrew is incorrect. Explain why. Well, we can see that 20 is definitely the middle number. But when we're calculating the median, we know that we must order the numbers first. Thereafter, we can find out what the median is. So now let's order them and write them out. So we start off with 11, then 14 twice, then 15, then 19 twice, and then 20. And now if we go ahead and put a line through each one, what we find is that our median is 15. So again, that shows Andrew is incorrect. 
Okay, we're coming to the end of our section here. So I hope these questions have been useful. If you want to rewind the video and pause at any place and then attempt the questions, go ahead and do that. Self-marking is the best way for improvement, where you can see where you've gone wrong and then compare it with what I've done here. If you've made it this far, you're doing really well. So keep it up. Okay, question 10. So we now know we have seven numbers. And again, just like the previous set of questions, we've got a number that is hidden. And now we have the mean, which is nine. So again, if we see that there's seven numbers, we can simply multiply that together. So we know the total of these numbers is, six, is 63. So now let's go ahead and add them up and then subtract them from 63. So now we've got 50 as our total. We can simply have 63 take away 50, which gives us 13. So now we know the value of the hidden number is 13. Marvellous. Okay, let's go over to the last two questions here. And this is where we're told that the mean of eight numbers is 41. So as we've just literally done in the previous question, we're going to multiply 8 by 41, which then gives us 328. And then it's told us that the mean of two numbers is 29. So we've got two numbers and 29. So we can simply multiply that out, which gives us 58. And now we've said that, let's go ahead and subtract that from there. So 328 take away 58 gives us 270. And now because we are working at the mean of the other six numbers, we can simply have 270 divided by six, which then gives us 45. So we now know the mean of those other six numbers are 45. So remember here, when you're told the mean of a set of numbers, always multiply them out. Because remember, in order to calculate the mean, you have to add all of the numbers together. OK, over to the last question here now. Question 12. OK, so Mark ran a mean distance of 13.2 kilometers in five days. So again, as it's a mean distance, and he's done that over a period of five days, we can have 13.2 times by five, which gives us 66 kilometers. So the next day, Mark then ran 20 kilometers. So we know if he ran 20 kilometers the next day, we know that's 86 kilometers in six days. And so if we're trying to find out the mean distance, we can simply have 86 divided by 6, which gives you 14.3 kilometres. And there we are. Amazing work. And that brings us to the end of our session. Amazing work once again. I hope you can see the value of these videos. And please don't forget to comment, share and subscribe to our channel for more useful content. If you have any feedback or any advice on how we can help you further, please feel free to comment below. At the end of the day, your success is my success. So keep it up and I'll see you in the next video.